Hi, I'm Kate Cooper, Professor of History at Royal Holloway. I'm a historian of the ancient world and my special focus is the rise of Christianity and the history of the family. Studying early Christianity is, I think, one of the most surprising subjects for students because it's not at all what you'd expect. I think we all have a vague sense in our imagination of what the world of the Bible is like and what, um, who Jesus was, for example. For many students, it's kind of fuzzy, but they think they know what it means to talk about the world of Jesus and his disciples, for example. And there's so many things students are surprised by. For example, the fact that some of the crucial uh, disciples were female uh, and that women played an incredibly important role. Really, a, women played really a, a, an indispensable role in the rise of Christianity and the expansion of Christianity as a movement. Um, and I think people are also students are often also really surprised by the fact that a society that we have really learned about through a Victorian lens, the way we've learned about Christianity has been kind of airbrushed by the Victorians. Um, and it's very much about meek women and people knowing their place and the actual movement of early Christianity really the early Christians were a kind of coalition of outsiders. They're people who were furious at the injustice of the society that they're living in, uh, who were trying to bring radical change. Um, they're not always sure whether that change is going to involve the complete end of the world or whether it's possible to bring social justice here on earth. Uh, but in a sense, the early Christians create a legacy of a kind of willingness to, to give everything up for the sake of what they call the kingdom of heaven, this idea of a, of a just society where everything is as it, as it should be, rather than a world of the survival of the fittest. It becomes a kind of a touchstone for social change. And I, and I think that students are often really surprised to discover how radical the whole Christian tradition is, both in its origins and also the way it develops over time. 